This application was developed to give a value-added service to the business subscribers of a telco operator, especially small to medium companies. The basic idea is to facilitate those companies to have their simple IVR without spending much money on infrastructure. What a company has to do is first, of course, register itself to the service. A phone number will then be assigned to it. Then it will have to define its IVR, you know, the greeting message, the menus, the operator number, the availability schedule, etc. This can be done through a web-based interface. So without further ado, let me show you first a couple of things from the application. Here's the web application with which the subscriber defines uh, its IVR. By clicking this link, the user will be taken to the page where he can edit the dialog tree. In this example, the number assigned to the subscriber is 10540815. The dialog is basically a tree of menu items. A menu item, when selected, can lead the caller to another set of submenus that is one level below in the hierarchy. Or it can cause the call to be transferred to a particular person in the company or cause a message to be played to the caller. Clicking this orange button here will pop up a window that shows the XML representation of the complete dialog tree. So, for instance, this dialog tree definition says by pressing one in the main menu, the caller will be taken to another menu or submenu named submenu 1. The message that will be played upon entering the submenu is contained in a sound file named sales.wav. Alright, here's a quick look of the administration console of the Bayou WebLogic application server on which our SIP servlets that perform the call control functions are deployed and running. When it receives an incoming call, our SIP servlet checks for the dialed number and consults the database that maintains the association between subscriber represented by the phone number assigned to him and the dialog tree. Then, if a dialog tree is found, the same SIP servlet will send an invite to the voice XML server. The one we are using here is from Foxpilot. Here's a glimpse of it. You can download the software from foxpilot.com, an evolution version that is able to handle two calls simultaneously, and is valid for four months. In the invite message that is sent to the Foxpilot, there is embed embedded an information about the URL on the Bayou WebLogic server from which the dialog tree in the form of VoxXML document can be downloaded. The Foxpilot sends an HTTP request to that URL. We have a plain HTTP servlet, which is also part of our application, that handles the request and uh, dynamically generates the, the appropriate uh, voice XML document as the response. The Foxpilot interprets that voice XML document as a live dialogue or spoken conversation uh, with, with the caller. At some point in the dialogue, when the caller asks to be transferred to somebody, our SIP servlet will send another invite to that somebody and perform a series of SIP signal processing activities that ultimately will cause the caller and the colleague to uh, be able to converse with each other. This diagram depicts the general design of our SIP server application. This is a design that I think can serve us as a template or framework or whatever you, you like to call it when we are designing application similar to the one we see in this demo. We will study it later, uh, much later, uh, in the chapter where we get down to the design and implementation of uh, this uh, Easy IVR application. Okay, I'm dialing the number 10540815. Notice the host part in the SIP array that I dial. It points to the machine where the Bayou WebLogic application server is running.
Let's move on to the second demo showing the call queuing feature. With this feature, the caller can opt to wait in queue in case the call person is currently busy. After a specified amount of time, uh, which is uh, 30 seconds in our case, the SIP surflet will uh, retry dialing the call person. If this time the call person is free, the caller will be automatically uh, taken out of the queue, assuming he is currently uh, the first one in the queue. Oh, 